Hi, I'm John Latimer, and today we're going to be talking about common mullion. This little uh, specimen here is a very healthy example of the common mullion. Common mullion is a biennial plant, and this is the second year of this plant's existence. In its first year, it's just a uh, rosette on the ground. And what you would notice there are these big leaves, but ground level. And in its second year, big tall spike here, rotating as it grows. You can see a kind of a spiraling pattern here. Bright yellow flowers through most of the summertime. Once it goes to seed, each of these little pods will have hundreds of seeds. And one plant can put out thousands and thousands of seeds. Those seeds are viable in the soil for up to 30 years. They can fall on soil and remain there ungerminated for, for up to 30 years. And then exposure to uh, some disturbance, maybe some trees are cut and all of a sudden that soil is exposed to more sunlight and boom, you've got uh, common mullion growing. The leaves of the common mullion are very, very soft and furry. And if you touch them, you'll find that they're just exquisite and oftentimes uh, early settlers would take these and use them to sort of line their shoes as a sort of a primitive insole. The other thing about common mullion uh, that's kind of interesting is that one of its uh, common names was a Quaker's Rouge because the Quaker girls weren't allowed to use makeup. They would pick some of the leaf and rub their cheeks with it and the, the hairs would irritate the skin a little bit and give them a little blush. So another name for common mullion, Quaker's Rouge. If you have common mullion growing in your yard, I would say uh, to take off some of the seed pods, look at some of the seeds, and uh, watch for the rosettes that will appear as those seeds fall and germinate. And don't be alarmed if it doesn't grow a big tall stalk, it just simply means that that's the first year of a two-year process.